What's happening guys? So I want to do this video because there's this post that's been circulating on Facebook like freaking wildfire and I wanted to address it and try to squash it the best I can even though I know it's just going to keep blowing up but there's <laughs> one thing that really frustrates me is it seems like when people post misinformation and, and bad information about nutrition like it just spreads like wildfire and it just goes crazy and it gets shared umpteen thousand times but when you post actual like evidence-backed research when you post real information is to like crickets like nobody nobody wants to hear that so here's my plea to you if you like this video if you enjoy the information please share it please help the information get out there so we can actually give people good honest information about what really happens with nutrition rather than trying to demonize things all the time so so here's what happened if you haven't seen it there's this post that's going on, there's this new drink out there, the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino, okay? Everyone's going crazy about the thing. It looks disgusting to me, but that's besides the point. <laughs> so there's this post saying that you should stay away from it because it's basically the equivalent of eating three Snickers bars. And there's, there's a few problems with this. The first being, the drink is like, depending on the size and what you mix with it, it's like 400 to 450 calories, right? Three Snickers bars is 750 calories, so they're most definitely not the same, all right? Three Snickers bars has a lot more calories than this drink. Now, the argument gets made that, well, it's not about the calories, it's about the sugar content. And if you match the sugar content, it's about the same. I haven't even looked to see if that's relevant or not. Maybe it is. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter, all right? We, we always want to demonize sugar so bad, but the research does not support this, all right? This, this is the problem that we have with nutrition is people look at certain foods or certain ingredients in foods and they say this is why it's bad, quote unquote, or this is why it's good because of that when they don't even look at calories and calories are the real reason why people are gaining weight. Like people always point to sugar and say that sugar is the reason for obesity and sugar, sugar is the cause of, of all our weight problems. But if you look, you know what? Sugar has been on the decline since the year 2000. It is consistently coming down every year pretty much since the year 2000. Sugar consumption is dropping and obesity is still skyrocketing as fast as it ever has. Okay, so sugar is not the cause of obesity. It's eating too many calories. There was also a study done where they equated calories and protein, and this is the thing that ever, nobody seems to understand. You know, it comes down to calories and protein. And they did this study. One group, on average, ate about 11 grams of sugar per day. The other group ate like 118. So it was literally like 4% versus like 44 or 48% of their calories from sugar. Equated calories and protein, and guess what? Results were the same. Weight loss was the same. All health markers were the same. Almost all of them, okay? So <laughs> sugar is not the problem, all right? Now, yes, sugar is, it, it's, it's not very satiating. It's easy to overeat on. You know, it, it's sweet and, and, it can, and you can want more from eating it, but just the fact that it's sugar alone doesn't make it bad. 400 calories, where there's a large portion of it from sugar is not worse than 750 calories where there's a smaller percentage of sugar, all right? Calories are always the bottom line. They're the biggest factor. Now, I'm not saying run out and drink umpteen millions of these drinks. I'm not saying sp spend all your calories on sugar. That's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is we need to always think about context of an overall diet. We need to understand that Foods are not necessarily good or bad, it's about context, it's about your overall calories. And we always look to everything except for calories. I don't understand why it's such, it's, it seems like it's such a bad thing to count calories, but we'll count everything else. I won't count calories, but I will count sugar, I will count carbs, I will count chemicals, I will, I will scan ingredient lists and I'll make sure that they have no bad ingredients in it, whatever the heck that means. I'll avoid all the chemicals in the world, but tell, ask me to count calories and no way, that's way too much work. When calories are the bottom line, like that's, that's the most important thing other than the sustainability of your diet. And if you're always telling yourself you can't have anything with sugar, how sustainable is that going to be? So that's the other point. Like, I don't like comparing, even, even if the calories of three Snickers and this drink were the same. I don't like that comparison because now we're basically saying Snickers are really bad, don't eat Snickers, okay? So we're, 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 we're continuing this trend of pointing at foods as good or bad and people have this horrible relationship with food and that only makes things worse. And the other thing that drives me crazy is like, okay, this Starbucks drink, 
it's, it's just another Frappuccino. Like if you look up the Mocha Frappuccino, the same size, same milk, same everything, it's like the exact same thing. It's down, like down to within a couple grams of sugar, it's the same. Down to the exact same calories, it's exactly the same. But all of a sudden, this one is the devil and we should stay away from it, right? Like, I don't know. My point is, sugar is not the devil. Sugar is not the cause of obesity, all right? Yes, there's problems with high sugar diets, but if you control your calories, especially if you control your protein at the same time, because protein is, is very thermogenic, it's gonna be okay, all right? We don't need to look at everything other than calories, all right? So that's the point I'm trying to make today. Keep everything in context. Do not demonize any certain foods and make sure that you can sustain your diet, all right? Again, if you like this video, please leave it a like, please subscribe if you're not already, please share this so we can get some good information out there for once, and I will talk to you guys later.